Okay, I'm back. And not getting much planning done for this forthcoming track. I've ended up doing a series of navigation videos. So I'm going to show you quickly how to take a bearing from a map. Say, say for instance, you've got your two six-figure grid references and you want to plot a course from one to the next. Or you know roughly where you are and you say we're here at this mine and we want to head down this path to the pub at Skyside. I think heading towards a pub is always a good idea, especially after you've been on a long trek in a, an overnight wild camp. So I've marked it here and uh, highlighted for you. So I know I'm here because that's, say, for instance, where I've just wild camped. And I want to get to here. Or this is my six-figure grid reference, and that's my six-figure grid reference, and I want to head that way. So there's actually two ways of doing this. The first way, and the easiest way, is to take your compass. That's like so. Line up where you are and where you want to be going to along your compass. Keep your compass in place, then rotate your bezel so that your orientation lines on the inside match up with your northing lines. So if you see there in this corner, they're pretty spot on, lined up. So now, this is now my bearing. If you look inside there, this is now my bearing, which max, matches up with my direction of travel line. Okay, so I've got a bearing of 30, 330 degrees. So all I'd now do without moving this bezel is rotate myself and the compass so that the north line needle is inside the orientation line and then walk in the direction of travel. So I'd walk that way, keeping that needle inside the orientation north. Sorry about that, I got really disturbed by a phone call. So what was I saying? Yeah, so walking that way, direction of travel, keeping my needle north point inside my orientation northern inside the bezel. Okay, so don't shift your bezel and your, your bearing is 330. Okay, okay, so let me show you the second way. Right, sorry for pausing, I just have to fold the map up because the second way of finding or taking a bearing, yeah, you need to orientate the map. So let me just quickly do that. I'm going to need to shift it slightly. Okay, so remember what I showed you in the previous video. So get your bezel and your orientation lines mapped up with your direction of travel line. Now match those direction of travel lines inside the bezel up with your northings. Okay, and then shift the map and the compass together until your needle you see it needle is inside your northern orientation northern line okay so now the map and myself should be orientated so i'd be stood on this side here looking that way so i've got a visual representation of the landscape around me in front of me okay so keeping the map in a fixed place Take your compass, find your two points. Remember, we were at this mine here and we're heading towards the pub. Line your two points of where you need to be. The pub, there, yeah, because we're going in that direction. And then this time, move your bezel so that the north lines up again. You see inside there? So you should then get the exact same bearing, 330 degrees. Easy. Depends on which way you want to do it, but they both get the same results. And that's how you take a bearing, guys. Nice and straightforward. 